Obadiah, Hebrew, Webedai Ovidya or Bedaihyao Ovidyahu, or in modern Hebrew Ovidya, slave of God, is a biblical theophorical name, meaning, servant of God, or worshipper of Yahweh. The form of Obadiah's name used in the Septuagint is Abdios, in Latin it is Abdias, in Arabic it is Webedya, most commonly used in Arabic Bad Obadah. The Bishop's Bible has it as Abdi. Prophet Obadiah The political situation implied in the prophecy points to a time after the exile, probably in the mid-5th century BC. No value can be attributed to traditions identifying this prophet with King Ahab's steward. So Babylonian Talmud, Sanhedrin 39b or with King Ahaziah's captain So Pseudo-Epiphanius the Interpreter's Bible Topic: <inaudible> Rabbinic Tradition According to the Talmud, Obadiah is said to have been a convert to Judaism from Edom, a descendant of Eliphaz, the friend of Job. He is identified with the Obadiah who was the servant of Ahab, and it is said that he was chosen to prophesy against Edom because he was himself an Edomite. Moreover, having lived with two such godless persons as Ahab and Jezebel without learning to act as they did, he seemed the most suitable person to prophesy against Esau Edom. Obadiah is supposed to have received the gift of prophecy for having hidden the hundred prophets 1 Kings 18 verse 4 from the persecution of Jezebel. He hid the prophets in two caves, so that if those in one cave should be discovered those in the other might yet escape 1 Kings 18 verses 3-4. Obadiah was very rich, but all his wealth was expended in feeding the poor prophets, until, in order to be able to continue to support them, finally he had to borrow money at interest from Ahab's son Jehoram. Obadiah's fear of God was one degree higher than that of Abraham, and if the house of Ahab had been capable of being blessed, it would have been blessed for Obadiah's sake. Christian tradition In some Christian traditions he is said to have been born in Sychem, Shechem, and to have been the third centurion sent out by Ahaziah against Elijah. The date of his ministry is unclear due to certain historical ambiguities in the book bearing his name, but is believed to be around 586 BC. He is regarded as a saint by several Eastern churches. His feast day is celebrated on the 15th day of the Coptic month Tobi January 23 in the Coptic Orthodox Church. The Eastern Orthodox Church and those Eastern Catholic Churches which follow the Byzantine Rite celebrate his memory on November 19. For those churches which follow the traditional Julian calendar, November 19 currently falls on December 2 of the modern Gregorian calendar. He is celebrated on February 28 in the Syriac and Malankara churches, and with the other minor prophets in the calendar of saints of the Armenian Apostolic Church on July 31. According to an old tradition, Obadiah is buried in Sebastia, at the same site as Elisha and where later the body of John the Baptist was believed to have been buried by his followers, it is related to Abdil, servant of God, which is also cognate to the Arabic name Abdullah or Obaidullah. The equivalent Turkish name is Abdul or Abdi. Other Obadiahs in the Hebrew Bible Other individuals named Obadiah in the Old Testament are listed as The servant of King Ahab of Israel 1 Kings 18 verse 3. According to the Rabbinic tradition, the tradition of the Eastern Orthodox and Oriental Orthodox churches, this is the same individual as the prophet. The son of Ananiah, a descendant of King David of Israel through Solomon 1 Chronicles 3 verse 21 The son of Uzi, a descendant of the Hebrew patriarch Issachar 1 Chronicles 7 verse 3 The son of Azel, a descendant of King Saul of Israel through Jonathan 1 Chronicles 8 verse 38 The son of Shemaiah, a descendant of the Hebrew patriarch Levi 1 Chronicles 9 verse 16 a warrior of the tribe of Gad who served King David 1 Chronicles 12 verse 9. The father of Ishmael, governor of the tribe of Zebulun during the reign of King David 1 Chronicles 27 verse 19. 
a prince of the southern kingdom of Judah during the reign of King Jehoshaphat 2 Chronicles 17 verse 7. A Levite, overseer of the reconstruction efforts during the reforms of King Josiah of Judah 2 Chronicles 34 verse 12. The son of Joab, one of the individuals who returned from the Babylonian captivity with the priestly scribe Ezra, and possibly the Levite mentioned in Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 9 as a porter of Jerusalem's gates after the city's reconstruction under Nehemiah Ezra chapter 8 verse 9. 